it cannot be done the way that it was done in the past, where everything was from the top down, working with First Nations communities. We have now flipped that, and this is incredibly important. The Bundalung Studio is a really great initiative that was set up by the ANU School of Engineering. It'll be a physical space that is placed here on the Australian National University campus, creating perspective plurality and having both Indigenous and non-Indigenous voices coming together to collaborate and innovate. It can be quite easy, as a programmer myself, it can be quite easy to get the blinkers on and not think about how these systems trickle down or trickle up. I think that's where the Indigenous knowledge systems are really important because we say instead of compartmentalisation we have to zoom out and understand it within the other systems or interacting with the other systems as well. We live in a land that has been ravaged by fires, by floods. I don't know how in this day and age you can't be biased towards the environment. I think we're well and truly beyond arguing about whether we can keep our jobs in forestry or industry. We've got to move on and really look after the future. And there's no single knowledge system that's going to allow us to actually address those challenges and address them at the scale that's necessary. So from my perspective, bringing together Indigenous ways of thinking and doing, bringing together Western ways of thinking and doing, gives us the best chance to actually solve some of these really monumental challenges that we're facing. The really great thing about Bundalung Studio is that there will be an advisory group and governance structure that will be set up that will have Indigenous voices embedded into it. So it's not just about co-design, it's actually about co-design. We're not just talking about a historical artifact. We're not talking about, oh, let's, you know, let's, let's have a look at the fish traps and analyze the fluid dynamics of the fish traps as an example in a class. It is about contemporary knowledge, that long history about this country, about this place that First Nations people bring and how that informs what we do. You're going to see a change. You will see productivity. You'll see people, you know, getting degrees, pumping out of here, then making a change on the ground and you're not going to be able to do that unless these things are put in place, such as a Bungalung studio. We are coming together and using the best of all of our knowledges to get the best outcomes for our future. Your ability to listen as to how they have been able to care for country for thousands of years, how to heal country, how to walk gently on country, but how to get the most from country because if you care for country, then country will care for you. So take this knowledge and use it for when you go out, not just on our country, but on other people's country, with respect and with an open mind.